Do I know what time it is? No, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's good to laugh though, because la laughing is also part of relaxation, right? Yeah. Right. So here we are, the first lady Erica. I got my new fur coat, y'all. Because we're gonna do some some relaxation that can help you, some relaxation tips that can help you go to sleep, they can help you meditate. Or you could actually have like just a mindful day just from uh, just coming to awareness and being mindful. So Terry Smith and Jonathan are going to take us through this technique and show us what time it is. <laughs> so Terry, tell us about this meditation we're doing today. We okay, all so, blankets on, so yeah, get, get cozy. Get cozy. Um, so today we're going to learn about relaxing because we hold so much in our body. And it's like, you know, our conscious, our, each cell in our body has a consciousness. And that consciousness, just think of it as being scattered to the wind, but we are the master controller. And as we bring our awareness back into our body, then we can get the flow and the energy moving through our body. and also with relaxation because how can you relax if you've got 10 things in a, in 10 different directions by bringing our focus into specific parts of our body telling them to relax you're also sending a message to each of the consciousnesses within each cell that we're a unit together and we work together so the deep relaxation is is learning how to just be in your body and and learning to relax each part of our body and so many times people can't meditate because their 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 body they're jumping and they've got a mind going in a thousand directions and yet if you can focus into the relaxation then it starts to help you to focus into your relaxing the mind as well mm -hmm. i guess it'd be almost like it's uh because it's kind of it's a it's a deepening a deeper relaxation let's say um that you'll have maybe less monkey mind exactly um and then if there's you know you go to the regular relaxation you, you your body's fully relaxed but more so that things will come up and you will get pulled in different directions and then you'll have to just kind of put it back into the your your bin your uh what's it called in your, your box in, yeah. the box yeah back in your box conversion box yeah relax again go back through it yeah and so this this can be used this technique it's it's like a 10 point relaxation so we'll walk you through it but basically you're starting with telling your toes and your feet to relax and then moving up your legs and your hips your torso your spine your face and and you know like just telling each part of that body to relax and let go and you know it's also a technique that can be used if you have trouble falling asleep at night you know like counting just just by that deep counting you because you're counting from one to ten when you go into that count you're actually slowing your brain waves down and you're going into more of an alpha state you know from that busyness of the beta and you're slowing down to the alpha state so it's going to help you to you know to relax i love it because uh this, this is one thing i've noticed like i'm really enjoying meditation because I clench parts of my body and don't know that I'm clenching like I used to clench my jaw and I know that I've done some damage to my own teeth because of clenching mm -hmm. and I'm also like a person that was doing a lot of shallow breathing even while we were talking I had to go and like relax to remember like take a deeper breath you know mm -hmm. I, I think we're 
kind of walking around oxygen deprived in a way, aren't we? Yeah, yeah we are because we're not yeah. getting enough. We're not breathing enough in, into our bodies. And so right. if you're not breathing enough, you're getting tense. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wondering if this is the part of what leads to having fascia in, in your body too, because it's just the thought when you say, feel it in your hips and you're like, oh, okay, my hips. Yeah, it, it is. You're you're telling the whole body that you're one again. Like, oh, wait a minute, guys, back there. <laughs> like, yeah. hey. Well, and, oh, and think about now. it as yeah. these, cell, these cells have been programmed, right? So if you had a trauma when you were, I don't know, when you were three and you fell on your back and you got winded, the cells remember that. And so you're, you know, we we, we have these little things that we carry on because there's a programming that even though our cells reproduce <laughs> and the cells that we had when we are three and the cells that we have when we're 40 are not the same the memory goes through the cells you know and so th that programming is there and so how do you just stop the program say oh stop the program it, it, they've got to be kind of retrained and so when you take the time to relax your body then you're starting to develop a, a conversation with it. It's it's just like when you were talking with Lindell today. He was taught he was talking about the breathing and stuff, right? So you 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 do. It, it's all part of, of of the parcel of of how we learn to relax and relate to our physical being. You know, we're in our head so often that we forget that this physical part also has uh, is what makes us. We a human, we're, we, you know, right. we're bound to the earth, and so we have to honor that, and so we have to learn how we can honor the, our physical being. Right, and I guess that's why they say pain has memory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. remember this too, like having a C-section, and then ten years later, like still, it wasn't as often, but over time, like you still have that pang of pain in that area, and then like. You know, maybe once in that year, I might feel it, but it's still operating there. Yeah. Or if you've broken a bone, oh, yeah. you broke an ankle years ago, and once in a while it still hurts. Well, that ankle is healed. None of those cells are the same, but why is it? Because it's, it's a, the cellular memory is still holding on to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess too, it's almost like that phantom limb syndrome yeah. where, like, yeah. say, if you know, if you remove a part and it's still, wants to operate as if yeah. it's there. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, there's people who know a lot more about this and I'm not trying to, um, you, you know, like I'm not an expert on it, but it's just, it's an observation that we can all make. And so we can all practice things, right? We, you know, you want to go into, you know, like Joe Dispenza does wonderful stuff on on a lot of this, you know, like there's there's so many people that have a lot of, information about cellular memory but you know what you can you don't have to read all of that material to practice simple things simple techniques i'm loving that you said that because uh i i know a lot of people are very technical and they need to know every function and every operation of how something works but the deepest healings and the best meditations come from just knowing it is it just is if you can accept healing because i just accept this healing because it is mm -hmm. so be it and uh, and i don't have to learn you know every function of all the cells in my body and how the mechanics of how it all works i can have just a general idea i think some people kind of get trapped in the idea of understanding how it all works instead of just enjoying the gift and so mm -hmm. this is the gift if I, if Terry's already done her research, I don't have to go rebuild the wheel. Yeah. Trying to figure out how it works. You enjoy, you enjoy the ride. I enjoy the ride. Right. I do. Mm -hmm. People like working on me. They like working on me because they're like, dang, you be receiving that healing girl. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> please. I accept this healing. So anyway, <laughs> did you want to say more about this before we get started and test it out? I, I think I think, you know, like it'll be self-explanatory. I just want people to realize, don't get frustrated with it. If you, if you're, it, you know what, you're just, when I tell, tell you to relax your toes, even if you don't know whether you're relaxing them or not, you know, I'm going to give you some, some instructions, just say relax, 
relax. That's all. Just, just give them the simple saying, just relax, you know, and uh, you can repeat the number if you want. So then afterwards, like you can, can do like a 10 point relaxation and it's just, you know, like it's simple. We can all count to 10, starting at your toes and moving up. And gee, you know what? If I say two at your knees and you go two at your, uh, your, your thighs, big deal. It's, it's what's meaningful to you, you know, like it's, it's doesn't have to, I'm giving you 10 points to relax your body. So um, if, if you decide like, oh, I, you know, she didn't mention my wrist. Well, my wrist is really sore. Go to your wrist and, and give it, you know, like it, it, it's only a guideline, but yeah. you know, the 10 points to wherever you're feeling you need to let go. I'm going to work at, you know, like offer the joints and, and that sort of thing, but use it where, you know, when you do. I like this, Terry, for the reason that I've done meditations with some people and they were like, well, how do I know how relaxed I am? They get so caught up because they're like, am I doing it right? And how much should I relax? Can I relax more or relax less? And so it's just like yoga class. And yoga, the advanced person might be able to do more, but say you can't bend a certain way, you go to where you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If you keep doing it over time, you're gonna get better and better and you're gonna go further and further, but just do operate where you are at the moment. Exactly. And, just, and it's going to be, relax. it's going to change as well, because what you feel today and what you do tomorrow may not be, it may not, you may not get the same result. And that's okay, because every day is a new day and every experience is a new experience. And sometimes we get so attached to, oh, I had this wonderful experience three weeks ago. I've got to have it again. You know what? Let that go and just, be where you are right now and that's an important thing is is a lot of times we're t- so attached to the past or the future that we're not being where we are at the right present. i'm not visualizing enough i used to get so caught up on you know yeah, yeah. what i was seeing that i i was just like i'm not seeing it right <laughs> it's just so so that much self-correction right. yeah that's so much that, self-correction that yeah, we're, 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 our worst, we're our, our own worst critics. Yeah. So relax. We're going to let Terry take us on a ride. Jonathan, do you have Hi, anything Jonathan. else you wanted to say at this point? Um, no, it's just, you know, for example, if it's if your mind's not slowing down, say you, instead of starting at your feet, you start at your mind and then go back to your feet. Yeah. Ooh. Right? And then go in that contact. Mm. Okay, there's no real order. It's just where do you need it right away? Yeah, where do you start? Maybe your head, your your shoulders, right? Your back. And that's why it's like you could use the wave technique, right? So there's multiple ways of doing it. Yeah. It. Nothing is set in stone. No. And using, you know, using wearing red colors, wearing black, it's a it's really a a relaxating and grounding color energetically wise what am um, i wearing orange <laughs> yeah, oh, i was gonna say yeah <laughs> you were wearing red i think before weren't you no i was wearing orange hold on hmm. okay so are you all ready i am ready all right so i'm going to invite you to close your eyes and imagine your energy conversion box, if you remember, just a nice box, like a, a, a nice wooden box and one made out of um, stone, could be a treasure chest, whatever, whatever you think about. Just open the lid and just put in your thoughts and worries because uh, your intention is just to learn some deep relaxation today you don't want to have anything interfering with that so just close put the stuff in the box and close the lid and if you need to lock it or put a put a put another rock on top of it just give yourself permission 
to relax and just learn a technique to relax. relax. And just now, just take a couple of deep breaths. So just breathing in. Hold it for a couple of moments and release it. Breathe in again, filling your lungs. Holding. And release. And one more time, breathing in, hold, and release. Now we're going to bring our awareness, bring your awareness to your toes. And just scrunch your toes up really tight, 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 and release them. And you can do it again, scrunch them tight and release. And just notice now how your feet are relaxed. You might twist your ankles in a circular motion, just relaxing your feet. One, relax your feet and feel the relaxation as it moves up the front of your legs and up your calves. Notice how the muscles start to relax and let go of any tension you might hold in your lower legs. And then you get to your knees. And a lot of people have a lot of tension in their knees. Just visualize your knees releasing any tension. If you're sitting up, you might take your hands over your knees and just rub them in a circular motion, just releasing any tension, relaxing. And if you're not sitting up, just imagine you can, just a nice letting go at the knees. As that relaxation starts to move up your knees, up the front of your legs, the back of your thighs, moving up your legs and you just feel the relaxation and it feels like a, a gentle warmth or moving. You can feel the energy just gently moving through your legs, moving up to your hips. And in our hips, we use a lot. We have a lot of tension in our hips. So again, feel like a, a circular motion in your hips. Just rela releasing any tension, relaxing your hips. Now bring your awareness to your lower back, to your tailbone. A lot of people have issues in the back and the lower back. Just see this area starting to relax and let go. And you feel the relaxation as it moves up from your tailbone, up your spine in gentle waves. It's like a gentle wave of water just flowing up your spine. And as it flows up your spine, all the muscles in your back start to relax let go of any tension that you hold in your back. And you may find that there are certain areas along your spine that may cause you resistance. Just tell those areas just to relax. And your spine will be four as your as your spine is relaxing. Now bring your awareness to your fingers and your hands and scrunch your fingers and hands tight, tight, tight and release. 
And again, tight, 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 and release. And now feel that relaxation moving up your arms to your shoulders, just letting go and relaxing. And that's five. Now bring your awareness to the front of your body. And just starting at your lower abdomen, telling your organs to relax, relaxing your genitals, relaxing your lower stomach area, your intestines, relaxing the stomach. Relax your liver, your spleen, pancreas. Just say, I know you're there. Relax. Bringing your awareness now to the heart space and the lungs. Take a deep breath in and relax these areas. And that will be seven. Moving up the throat and now to the back of the neck. Relaxing the tension in your neck. Moving up to the head. And that's eight. Nine, bringing your awareness from the back of your head over your scalp. And as the scalp relaxes, you almost feel a tingling in your scalp as it moves over the top of your head to your forehead. Nine. Now that relaxation is moving down your forehead, around your eyes, and your cheeks, letting go of any tension. And our jaws hold a lot of tension. Just feel that circular motion of the energy releasing on each side of the jaw. Now your face is totally relaxed. And that was 10. And just notice your body now in this relaxed state. Just allowing the relaxation to flow in and out with your breath. And with each breath, you become more and more relaxed and in this calm and restful state. And this is a 10 point relaxation. You can start at your feet and counting to 10, your body will, will automatically start to relax just by bringing your focus and awareness to each part of your body. Remembering to breathe and your breaths will become slower and fuller and your mind becomes more and more calm. Just stay in this state for a few moments. And any thoughts that come by, just release them with your out breath. 
Just breathing in and breathing out. In a calm and peaceful space. Feeling connected with your physical being. Knowing that you can bring your awareness back into your body in order to relax. we're going to start to bring our awareness back into our room. Remembering how easy it is to just relax and calm ourselves down. So now start to breathe a little bit at a little faster pace, just bringing your awareness back to your lungs and your breath. And you can start to feel your feet and your fingers now. Just move them. Waking your body up. Just make, wake yourself up. And you can now just lift your shoulders from side to side, from one ear to the next. And you can move your head, shift your head from shoulder to shoulder slightly. Oh, and take a deep breath in. And you can open your eyes. And welcome back. I, li I like she said the liver. <laughs> I, I've never done one where someone said like your liver or an organ or your stomach because I, I actually did. I was like, oh, okay, I can talk to my stomach now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I almost, I was deeply, I was just sitting there dropping, I was dropping <laughs> off a little bit. <laughs> I wanted to put my neck like all the way back. <laughs> Between 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 the meditation and, and playing the sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you you know if you have if you but if you're having trouble sleeping, just start to relax your body by telling each part to relax, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and you'll drift off to sleep. Yeah, and we've only done the box one time together, and. Just doing it again, I, it was so easy because I actually like saw the box and it was like all of a sudden a stream of everything. And what I did, I didn't even try to count the things or try to, well, what is going, I didn't try to decipher what was going in the box. Yeah. In my mind, it was just like everything is going in the box and I could just see it like drifting as if the whole room was folding up and going down in the box. And I was like, oh, are you going to look at it? No, I'm not going to look at it. Just yeah. go. <laughs> it's still there. If you really I wanted to go look, look at it, it. Like, well, what is it in there? What's in the box? Like, <laughs> but man, that was nice because it, it gets easier and easier every time. I guess that's my encouragement that I want people to see. Like, it's going to get easier and easier every time. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether you're just beginning or you've been doing it for 30 years. It's just a good practice to relax mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and it's a, a lot of people uh, and I, I think i had mentioned this before a lot of people want to practice mindfulness but they can't because they get frustrated because there's so much going on and the key is to learn to relax first and let go of those things mm -hmm. so you know to do mindfulness you have to know how to relax mm -hmm. and let go of that 
don't, you know, the thoughts, let go of the thoughts, let go of the right. tension in your body, just be. Mm -hmm. I mean, exactly that. And, you know, if there's somebody that, you know, is just really starting to get into it or, you know, not, <laughs> we were talking about not breathing deep enough, right? Maybe that's where you begin because yeah. that's exercising those exercising the lungs right to open mm -hmm. up expansion. and then you can you know then you may go to another spot your stomach because your your abdomen and your it's that's that's the that's part of that's a crucial part of getting into that depth of that breath into yeah, the, the body, diaphragm right, right? The diaphragm. The diaphragm yeah or like you're saying a point of pain too like if you're having pain in that area Mm. It's like the Wim Hof technique and mm. that, right? As soon as you get into the pranayama breathing, is you're really using that diaphragm and really going deep within the breath. And then that just will really take you into your body even deeper. Yeah. Hey, hey, even when we do the crystal meditation, right? What mm. are you going to do? You're going to breathe in and... Right, you're you're yeah. you're you're setting your intention with your breath, but we'll we'll do that later. But that's just the you know those this is step those are techniques you learn you you build on the stuff. Mm -hmm. well, that you, you, know, you start crazy. off, you start off, and then you can get into the more you know into more stuff. But a lot of people are like, oh, I I, I can't do that. Well, maybe it's just going back a little bit and just mm -hmm. just learning the simple techniques. That mm -hmm. will get you to the other techniques. Right. Sounds exciting. A little qigong in the future, too. I guess it's not supposed to be exciting. Sounds relaxing. It's relaxing. <laughs> it's just chill. We're chilling. Sounds <laughs> chilling. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I get excited about being relaxed. Yay. It's a it's the better, better state of mind. Yeah. Well. You got people at work and be like, ah. I can't wait to get home to relax, <laughs> right? To another love. Yeah. <laughs> True I'm, I'm going to stop saying that too, because people keep saying, ah, time is going so fast, but then they can't, keep saying they can't wait. So I'm like trying to stop mm -hmm. myself from saying I can't wait, because no, no, I'll wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want, yeah, oh we don't want to wish time away. Mm-mm, <laughs> mm-mm. Right. And and I'm just I'm just going to go back a little bit to that whole thing about coming home to relax. That's why people turn on the television because it takes you into a different space. It's mm -hmm. taking you out of the present moment and it's putting you in somewhere else. And so that's why people like to relax. Of course, if they're watching something that's violent or whatever, then all of a sudden you're 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 creating adrenaline and stuff. So it's it's working against each other. But you know, why do some people fall asleep in front of the TV because they're relaxing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're looking at somebody it, it else's problems instead of their own. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It takes you into a different state. Mm. Yeah. Well, Terry. Yes. Jonathan, it was so fun hanging out with you. So very relaxing. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. All right. Time. Good, night. Good night. Good afternoon. Good morning. Bye, Bye everyone. Well. <laughs> He's doing that. <laughs>